Welcome to Tech Wednesdays. This episode is about mobile workstations, specifically Dell Precision. Now, what is that? A mobile workstation is essentially a laptop that has the power of a tower or full-size workstation, something that is heavily used for engineering, design, video editing, gaming in some cases, basically the most powerful thing you can jam in a small package. Now, many of the viewers of this channel know it for the automotive content. And without my previous career decisions, that would not be possible. And no, exotic dancing wasn't one of them. I started in healthcare, then moved into healthcare IT, and then joined the corporate IT world for over 15 years, supporting thousands and thousands of users in endless hardware and software configurations. My head is just about ready to explode thinking about it. Now I run my own business in media, video, automotive, and technology. And I learned so much along the way. And one of it was from my very first computer I bought for over $5,000, a Dell workstation or a Dell tower that was in the stone age is the Pentium three era. One of the first machines designed to do video editing, go figure. And I struggled and struggled. And I learned so much from that, from the software side, the hardware side that I started building my own equipment. But when I got in the corporate world, I realized there was this huge divide between kind of the cheap stuff and the business stuff. And I'm going to talk about some of the Dell equipment I use because I've used it for so long for so many reasons, which I'm going to get into later. Now, working from home or going mobile is nothing new. However, in the wake of certain global crises, it will become much more of the norm. Certain companies have already adopted this, while others are phobic of allowing people to do that. In terms of hardware, there are multiple options in the laptop world, and I'm going to explain what these are. Now I'm going to address different mobile computing devices, and I'm going to break it down simply for you like this. You have your consumer grade or home user machines, which are on the budget side. You have the business class devices, which are designed for somebody that needs more uptime, reliability, service and support. And then you have the enthusiast equipment or brands for people that like gaming, more flashiness, more power and more customization. So let's start with the basics. If you're a home user, all you care about is email, spreadsheets, browsing the web, and you have literally no budget, you're gonna go to a big box store like Best Buy or Walmart or buy it on Amazon. And these machines are designed to be produced in mass quantity. They use a, a lot more plastics, they don't have a ton of durability testing, thermal design, and they subsidize the cost oftentimes by preloading a ton of software that you don't need to get the price down. Hopefully that you will buy licensing for it or whatever. So the problem, the biggest problems with these machines is they're not all that serviceable. The warranty period is typically less than a year and you have to mail it out when you have a problem, which means sitting on support, shipping it out, waiting for it to come back or bringing it into a store. And if you're running a business or you, you, favor something that is more reliable, that's like the worst case scenario for you, believe me. The next is going to the business divisions of certain companies like Dell, HP, Lenovo, and Apple. You go to the business side, you are able to have access to a sales rep, a service rep, and even product specialists for each individual model. And what this opens the door to is the ability to get better service levels where I can have a tech on site same day to fix my equipment. I can get in-region support where I can call and get somebody in 30 seconds that knows what they're doing to help get the machine running, either software or hardware. And it depends how much you want to pay for this stuff as well. And then you get to the enthusiast division where you have boutique companies that hand build certain machines based on your spec with lighting, fancy pants cases, water cooling, you name it. And again, that's more for the gaming side of it. And you do get boutique service as well, but that's not really, if you're, if you're running a business, that's not typically what you're going to get. Now, before I talk about the high end Dell precision workstation, I need to get this out in the open. And it's one of the most common things that I see. 
It doesn't matter what manufacturer you're dealing with, from cars, consumer electronics, to computing like Dell or HP. If they've been around long enough, if they've manufactured certain things in mass quantity, certain models or certain years or generations are gonna to be total turds. From a reliability problem, service problems, even OEM or supplier issues, the, the companies that make the components could have problems. And at the end of the day, what a lot of this stuff is about is about your relationships. It's not about the shiny box that comes in or the marketing. It's post-sales support. It's what you have to deal with, not just in a year, but four years down the road. And my Dell rep that I had for 10 years, Jim O'Neill, I swear there'd be probably weeks of his life that have just been eviscerated by me him just yelling at him on the phone. And I'm sure the guy went home at night and just thought, I hope this guy never comes back to work so I don't have to deal with him. And Gary Sacoin from CDW, another guy that I worked with for over 10 years that just put up with so much of my crap. But one of the reasons why I stuck with Dell specifically for so long in the business side is these guys did their jobs. Not only did they do it, but they cared about giving me the support when I needed it, when I literally had to spend months fixing problems because of the equipment that I had. So even Dell, as much as I'm, I've been using them forever, they have had problems. And it depends, again, what model you pick. And from a buying perspective as a consumer, you have to be smart about that. You have to do your research. And that's one of the big reasons why I've continued to use the Dell Precision. So let me get into that. Now it's time to talk about the Dell Precision mobile workstation, specifically the 7740 here. But before I get into that, every single video you've seen on this channel that's been done in 4K has been edited and created and manipulated on one of these machines for the past five years. And I've owned every single generation for the past 10 years. And I'm gonna post up some of the prices that I paid for these machines on here so you have a better understanding. And when I go on press trips, when I talk to engineers, the similar question comes up, how is it that you're able to have a workflow on a laptop like this and churn out the quality that you are? Well, some of it is the tools I use and some of it is just general knowledge, but a lot of it is possible because of these machines. So last year I went to Dell and I said, look, this is what I'm doing. This is my career. This is what I'm doing now with the videos. And a lot of what I'm able to accomplish is because of these machines that I've had. And I've never had a failure with my last generation machine in almost four years of nonstop usage. I'm talking 24 seven usage, constantly editing and coding. And it's been so reliable. And that's one of the reasons why you're seeing so many videos. So Dell sent me their new 7740, which is their most powerful laptop they make for free. So I can talk about some of the things that makes this machine special and how it's improving my workflow and speeding up and allowing me to create more videos than I could even before. And that's one of the reasons why you're starting to see three videos a week. So let's get into some of the technical perspectives here. Now the Precision lineup is not a value product. They are expensive and they're expensive for a reason. They're for people that want no nonsense. They need 100% uptime. Like me, I work seven days a week. I cannot afford to be down or playing with software bugs or reboots or stutters or freezes or lags. The image is built well. The hardware is definitely very impressive. Dell uses magnesium, aluminum, carbon fiber, like my old Precision here, it has a carbon fiber lid. And a lot of this experience comes from working with other manufacturers in different industries, aerospace, or their small stint in Formula One with Caterham. They learned how to do carbon fiber and all these materials that look great and they're mass produced. You would never believe that when you look at it. Now the exterior shell is one thing. The next thing is serviceability and upgradability. Well, when you take a look at how easy it is to get these precisions apart, at least the user accessible areas, I can take the bottom tray off to access the battery and the NVMe drives in less than 20 seconds on most of them. And popping out the battery on my previous generation precision was like a 10 second process. And these are the things that are super important if you're an end user, that you do not want to rely on shipping stuff out, taking it in, or having a service tech come out to do simple tasks. In the case of replacing NVMe drives, it, it's taking two panels off 
and they all have heat spreaders. It's super easy to get at every single part of this machine that you need access to. In the case of the 7740, it has upgradable RAM up to 128 gigs, also using ECC RAM if you choose the Xeon processors that are available. So this machine has a eight core Xeon processor with 64 gigs of ECC RAM and a Quadro RTX 5000 GPU. And that's where this machine starts to separate itself from things like the MacBook Pro and some of the more thinner or smaller form factor mainstream machines. Now, yes, other manufacturers compete with this. Asus has one, HP and Lenovo have competing products. But when you look at the overall hardware design and how easy it is to service this, not many companies touch this. The last part of it is the service contracts. So this has pro support and I didn't opt for pro support plus that gives you accidental damage protection because I treat this thing like a gold brick. But if you choose pro support, you get in region uh, connectivity. So if you call, you get connected right away with somebody that speaks your language, that's quick, knowledgeable about the specific product you have. You don't get shuffled around 10 different ways. People know how to service these and work on them. They know the imaging, they know the software, and it makes troubleshooting or making changes to your software or hardware super easy. So you're paying for that support. You're paying for in-home next day business support. Or if I'm traveling, if I'm on a press trip and the thing bricks itself or the GPU burns up, they have parts all across the country, at least in America, where that guy's going to be out or girl's going to be out the next day to fix it. So the downtime is minimal. And that is one of the biggest things you're paying for here is that reliability and serviceability that you're not getting on consumer level stuff, that you're not getting on a lot of products. Now, the next topic is one of the most important parts, software reliability. And this is something we've all dealt with your computer or phone crashing, freezing up, slowing down, you have no idea why, or it just reboots. And it doesn't matter what hardware you have. You could have the best piece of hardware on earth, the best marketing, the best packaging, but if that machine does not work, the image is poorly engineered, or this software that's preloaded on it is garbage, you can have problems with everything. And I had a conversation with Yuri from the Straight Pipes recently about this, and he said, after a string of bad laptops, he's like, I just want it to work. I just want something to work. And that's one of the most important things to me. And I've learned over the course of time. And that's why one of the reasons why I've spent over $20,000 on my own Dell equipment, specifically precision workstations, where I don't have to deal with a lot of this because they strip all the bloatware and all the crap software out of it. And the things that are left now in this generation work really well. So some of the tools that I truly have not uninstalled that I use, when I click on start here, I've organized them. They have the Dell Precision Optimizer. When you look at the overall layout of this, you see all these applications like 3ds Max, Maya, you have SolidWorks, and all the applications you use, you can toggle on, like After Effects and Premiere Pro, Photoshop, the things that I use every day, I leave this on. So what happens when you launch these applications, the optimizer can detect that and increases processor speeds, reduces throttling, increases fan speeds, allocates more memory for that application. And one of the biggest benefits is you have more stability in that program. Now to wrap this up, this type of equipment's not for everyone. And I'm not even advocating it, it's cost prohibitive. If you're in an industry or you're an individual that values the build quality, the engineering, the performance, and of course the support when and if you need it, that's why you would get this. However, if you're a business owner or you're in IT procurement, just know you get what you pay for. You still might be in a small business division and you might buy the cheapest thing possible, but if you're not getting the right support on it, now that more users or more people are going to be working from home, you do not want to deal with hardware issues at home where people are shipping things out, mailing them in. If you're somebody now that is working from home, you might even want to ask that question. What type of equipment are you using? What's the support on it when you need it? Because that kills time, it kills energy, and it's the biggest amount of frustration. So the message is, do your research. I don't care what brand you use, obviously. I use Dell because it's always worked well for me. Find your representatives, like my Jim O'Neill and Gary have been for me in CDW and Dell. They've helped transform my experience with the entire infrastructure that I've supported. And now going forward, they're still there for me, even when it's just me and my videos. So 
take that in account and hopefully this helps. I'll see you next video.